Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about machine learning and League of Legends. Uh, to preface this video, I'm going to tell you right now, none of this code's guaranteed. I'm just experimenting here. I don't know if this can actually make predictions, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you all of my methods, and you can evaluate it on, it on your own. So let me tell you what we did. All right. I have this script here and what this script did was it went to EU West for I games in Europe it connected to my local database it created a table called match data and then it just looped through recent data from League of Legends matches as it looped through it continued to build this table called match data okay match data and in this table is ID, participant ID, team ID, champion ID, uh, game ID, Q, Q ID, winning team, which is most important, and tier and division. After we scraped about, oh God, uh, I wanna say 130,000 rows, and, and, and each row is, it's one game is 10 rows. I then flatten that, that those rows out into this data, which is game ID winning team, team 100, or t winning team, and then team 100 champ one, team 100 champ two, et cetera, all the way to team 200 champ one, so that, so that we've flattened each game ID out into one single uh, row. And then we fed that data back into a Python script, which ran it through uh, a, conf a uh, random forest classifier matrix or uh, algorithm and tried to predict the winning team based on the features, which are the features were team one champions, team two champions. Okay, so based on this data, and I'm going to show you how much we have. I don't think we have enough. Actually, I might have to keep running this because our test, our training data was, is how many rows? F only 4,000 rows. Okay, let me tell you, 4,000 rows. And I'm, let me ask uh, Riot something, or I'm going to ask uh, uh, ChatGPT something. How many champions are there in League of Legends? up to your knowledge. Cut off date. 156 champions. And I say, so if each game has 150, has 10 unique champion players, how many combos are there in total? Give me a sh concise short answer. The total number of unique champion combinations in a 10-player League of Legends game is difficult to calculate exactly, but it's estimated to be in the billions. Wow, that's that's unreal, man. So, so it's like so. So here is my data about uh, uh, about game outcomes. How big, how many rows do you think I should have for it to be reasonably accurate? To get reasonably accurate results, you would need a large amount of data, preferably thousands or tens of thousands of game outcomes. The number of rows you have provided is not enough to draw meaningful conclusions. So that being said, I've only got 4,000 rows. So I, I just I think I just need to build this data set bigger to get uh, any sort of better conclusion. And, and that's going to be the next step after I run this. But I'm going to show you what I've got so far. Based on my 4,000 row data set, uh, 
I got this outcome. So please explain this outcome of my Python script. So based on my 4,000 rows, and this also, again, no warranties. I could have made mistakes in here. This code is not to be used for anything of value. The accuracy is 51%, which means it correctly classified about half of, about half of the test instances. The confusion matrix, this talks about false positive, false negatives, true positives, true negatives. Um, basically says that this was biased towards, towards one of the teams. Oh, I know the classification actually talks about that. Macro average and weighted average. Overall, the output suggests that the model has a relatively low accuracy and its performance is similar for both classes. However, to fully interpret, there's a need to have, be helpful to have more information about the data set, the model, and the specific task it was trained for. Okay. So uh, maybe I could say, tell me in the con text of this script. Oh, well, I guess that didn't give me enough. Anyway, so the, the result was that it was only slightly better at guessing outcomes than coin flips. So, uh, <laughs> I think that's pretty wild. I mean, 50, 50.8%, 50 you know, over time, you know, there are people that, you know, card counters, you know, that, that, I think that's about what they uh, operate on. It's a 50.1% edge or something, or something like that. Very small percent. I'm not sure, 100%. Anyway, that is uh, where we're at so far with my League of Legends uh, prediction script. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.